Ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be a two video kind of day. The second one this afternoon is a bit of a surprise, but this one is going to be a guide on the new Rebirth Island Easter egg. And by doing this Easter egg, you are actually going to be able to earn yourself this blueprint that you are looking at here. It's a pretty cool looking blueprint. And the only way to get it is, of course, doing that Rebirth Island Easter egg. Now, as far as this Easter egg goes, it's a difficult Easter egg. But once you know what to do, it is very very doable. And what I mean by that is that there is three different things that you have to do. You can do them in any order. However, there is one order to do them in that makes it way, way easier. And in fact, I did this on my third try solo. I didn't even need a team to do it. There's just a couple little tips and tricks I can give you that make it way, way easier to do so. So without further ado, let me get into it and show you what I mean. So this whole Easter egg stems from a certain area on the map in industry so inside industry you're going to see the blueprint right there underneath it an advanced uav there's also a bunch of vests on this side now there's two things that you can interact with this red button which has three lights above it you need to turn on all three of these lights there's also a keypad over here we're going to come back to that later but that's going to give you an armor box as well as a vest of your choice so how do we get these three lights to turn on? So I am going to show you this in the exact order I would recommend doing this. So you are going to start off at factory. In factory, I recommend dropping into this location and you want to go through a door labeled B4. It is on the second story of the building. And when you go through the door, you're going to see kind of like an elevator shaft with a door that you can't go through. However, there's a crate on the other side that you can shoot and break. And inside it, you are going to find a key card. You're going to grab this key card and immediately run up the coast towards harbor going north. As you work your way up to this area, you are eventually going to find this small kind of shack, but a little bit bigger than that, where you're going to go up the stairs to the second story and use that key card to open the door. When you go inside, you're going to find a couple of things. The first of which is a terminal you can interact with. When you do this, the first of the three green lights are going to turn on. There's also a UAV you can grab in this area, and I recommend grabbing it and using it almost right away because it'll be useful going through the next section because for the next one, we have to work our way up to chemical engineering. So once you are in chemical engineering, you're going to need to find a couple of different numbers. The first of which is found on a floor labeled 02. So you saw it 01 there. You're going to go up to 02 and on the back wall, we just saw number two there. I looked at it very quickly because there's a symbol above it. The symbol doesn't matter. The second number you're going to find is on the very top floor here. You go through the door and we just saw number four. I know I'm doing this very quickly. Time is of the essence. Zone moves in very, very quickly. So I saw those two. I know two of the numbers are two and four. So I actually got killed there. I got double teamed, but I know two of the numbers. So we already know two and four. There's only one other number that we need to look at, and it is right beside the terminals that we need to interact with. So I already know them. I don't need to go back there. I'm going to go to the kind of final room that we have to go to here, and it is labeled 04 back here. When we go through, you're going to see a bunch of stuff. But first, we need to see what the other number is. So we go and have a look over on the wall here, and we see number eight. So our numbers are two, four, and eight. Now, once you're inside this room, there is a red button on the wall. You are going to interact with that. Now, you don't need to know any of the symbols that are above it, because as long as you know what the high, medium and low numbers are, each terminal is going to do something different. So one terminal changes three numbers, one terminal changes two numbers, and one terminal changes one number. The easy way to do this is use the terminal that changes three numbers until you get the lowest possible number. Then you change, use the terminal that changes two numbers until you get the middle number. So in this case, it would be four. Then you use the terminal that changes one number until you get the highest possible number, which in this case would be eight. So when you complete that, it's going to give you a durable gas mask as well as a squad battle rage. Now follow the exact path that I am running here because this is going to take us underground with cover all the way to industry. So for this next section, I actually recorded it live and I'll show you kind of how you can actually do this next section because it's some numbers. Now behind the vests here, there is this computer that has a bunch of numbers. So 95, 24, 2, 4, 8, and 7. All you're going to do with these numbers is take them and put them in order from highest to lowest. So in this case, it would be 95, 
248742. There's someone above me. So 9524-8742. So that is going to open this up here. So when I actually completed the Easter egg, of course, those numbers were different, but you do the exact same thing, put the numbers from highest to lowest, and it will unlock that. Now, when we actually do this, it's going to give us the vests as you saw before, but on top of that, it is also going to turn on that final green light and once you've turned on that final green light you can then open that final compartment which is going to give you access to that blueprint of the weapon as well as the advanced uav now there's a few tips and tricks i can give you to kind of help you out with this if you're doing it solo or doing it with a squad first of all way way easier to do with a squad while you were doing these things and putting the numbers things along those lines you'll have people to protect you but doing it solo is 100% possible. I did it actually very, very quickly. If you follow the method and order that I gave you in this video, it will really, really help you out with that. But if you are playing in a squad, only the first person to pick up the blueprint actually gets it in the post game. I don't know if that's a bug or whether that's on purpose, but if you're playing with a squad of three people, you're going to need to do this three times to get everyone the blueprint. Now, the hardest section of this Easter egg is inputting those numbers into the kind of water control system. When you do this, I recommend closing all of the doors. That way, if someone comes in, you'll hear them coming, first of all, from footsteps and when the door pops open. So those will help you in that situation. Now, there's one other thing about this. Once people see this video, they're going to do it in the same order as me. So what that means is that they're going to get the key first and then do the water system with the numbers and then go into the industry building. Now, let's say, for example, you drop into factory. Someone drops in with you. They get the key card before you. You know that they're going to go to harbor. It doesn't matter who in the lobby does these things. So, for example, you don't have to do all of these steps just as long as you're there for the last step. So if you see someone else doing these steps and they are killing you, go to industry and just wait for those green lights to turn on. I know it's super sketchy and will be super annoying once people start doing it, but it'll allow you to be the first one at industry, know the code you're gonna put it in, put it in right away, and grab that blueprint before the person who actually did all the work got there. I was very worried about this happening the entire time I was doing it, because again, you don't have to do anything. So if someone goes and grabs that key card, just let them have it and go do that part of the Easter egg for you. You can go do chemical engineering and you can go to industry if you want, but, or you could just sit at industry and wait until they complete those steps. But who knows, maybe they won't get there. Someone will take them out, but it is absolutely a possibility if you're having trouble with this and you see someone else doing the Easter egg, it's definitely an option. So this is the main Easter egg on Rebirth for now. There are some other hidden things like the red room we previously saw is there and there's notes hidden throughout the entire map. If more Easter eggs happen, of course, I will let you guys know what's going on there, the story behind it or what is the kind of secrets behind Rebirth Island. We will have some videos going up soon in regards to that. But if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, you were able to do the Easter egg, hit that like button, maybe subscribe, turn notifications on. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making